going to talk you through how to set up concept two so the first thing you need to look at is the damper setting we could get really technical on all this but basically when you when you're on level 10 the resistance is at its hardest but you actually go further per stroke okay so it's a bit like the gears on a bike keep it really simple we always say sort of like your bigger heavier guys on level 10 uh, women on damper number six okay we can go more technical than that but but we're not going to for purposes of this video next thing you need to look at is your feet setting again we could go quite technical with this but these numbers don't correlate to anything i just say to people if you're a guy and you've got massive feet do you know what i mean like size 10 11 12 feet whatever you want that set there okay if you have got medium sized feet you maybe want to be on the third one maybe if you're a size eight or a size seven or whatever and then anyone it just goes down and down and down doesn't it you know that's maybe for kids that one so maybe maybe number two is as low as you get okay and what we want to look at is you want to get it adjusted so that when your foot is in okay that is over the ball of your foot so for me there that's that's fine it's over the ball of my foot okay and that allows good flexion of your foot when you're rowing this can actually mess you back up if that isn't in the right place believe it or not so pay attention to that and the quick way to get out of these straps is when you're tightening you do that okay so you're tight and you're slackening you just push that off kick your foot up because it's kind of like on a lit lit there so I kick my foot up lift and out okay the computer the console so this is the PM3 on a C model, D model, excuse me. So you're going to turn it on there with the menu button. I'm going to stand up a little bit. <laughs> right, so just row would be if you just want to get on and just start rowing away, okay? If you're not really doing a program as such. But we, nine times out of ten, we're going to be doing programs. So select workout, new workout. And then a single distance would be if you wanted to input like maybe, right, I want to do 2,000 metres once. Or I want to do 5,000 metres once. Single time would be, right, I want to do 5 minutes once. Or I want to do 30 minutes once. Okay, intervals by distance, we use this one a lot. This would be if we're saying we want you to do 200 metres and have a minute's rest. And we want you to do it 10 times. I'll show you how to set that one. So you press that. These plus or minus arrows, plus minus. So if I press plus, it goes look 600, 700 meters. We just said 200, didn't we? So we go down. Let's say if we wanted to say 250, you then press this one to toggle across. Let's say if you mess up, so say if I go to 260 by mistake, you could toggle backwards using that one. Okay, so you go back and forward using that one, up and down, and then you toggle across. And this bottom one is your recovery. So you could set that for, in this case, a minute. All right, and then you press the tick arrow when it's all programmed. So just before you press the tick arrow, just look, 250 with a minute rest. Once that's happy, you tick that. That would now set you up to do 250 meters. So as you start rowing, that would count down. And then you'd get, your, you'd get a score in this box. I think it comes up when you're finished. And then it tells you how many intervals you've done. And then it would tell you, it would tell you, you, you so it would tell you your time and how many intervals you've done, and then your recovery comes up into the top corner. So it tells you your, your actual recovery. Okay, if you wanted to go through and do something similar, again, we do a lot. Select workout, new workout. So it's this screen again. Intervals by time would be if we wanted to say, well, right, we need to work for a minute. We need to have a minute recovery. It's the same setup. It's just working off time. Okay, something I'm always obsessed with when. I'm working with people on these interval programs is we get this projected finish to come up. Because what the projected finish allows you to do is as you're going along, it allows you to see what score you're going to get. So as we toggle through the change display, you've got different readouts, it's a graph, it's a pace boat you can set, it's another graph on watts, that's just a standard display. And we come back through to so four displays, and the units just changes it between different readings. So average watts. It's a calories one. That doesn't matter too much as long as you can see this finish here. And that's how to set up the PM3 Concept 2 monitor.